Hi everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. I have some quick ideas and tips for including cinnamon into your foods. Now we do know it's kind of a given that we include cinnamon a lot of times in desserts and puddings and things like that, but we can also include cinnamon in savory dishes. So if you want to try that, try looking up some dishes that would be common in India in Vietnam and Chinese cuisines as well because they do include cinnamon in savory dishes. So that might give you some ideas on how to do that. How about adding cinnamon also to add a sweet spicy flavor in cakes and pies and cookies, cobblers, puddings and other desserts. That's kind of a given. We do that a lot. Sprinkle some cinnamon over apple pie or an apple crisp on top of it when you're ready to eat it. That'll bring out that cinnamon flavor in that dessert. Try also combining a little sugar and cinnamon in a shaker container. It's ready to go so you can shake some cinnamon on some toast or some desserts or cereal, breads or muffins, however you want to add a little bit of a cinnamon sugar flavor. Cinnamon can also be added to marinades. How about that? You can add it to marinades for beef, venison, and lamb. That would be something interesting to try. How about adding a little bit of cinnamon to hot chocolate? This is commonly done in Mexico. It gives a real special flair to that hot chocolate drink. You can also try taking a cinnamon stick and adding it to a cup of hot tea or cocoa, hot cider, or even coffee for a little cinnamon flavor and add a little different twist to your hot beverage. Cinnamon sticks or cinnamon essential oil can be added to room fresheners and sachets and potpourri, that sort of thing, for a really wonderful heavenly scent. How about sprinkling a little bit of cinnamon on a fruit salad? That would make it good. You can also add some cinnamon to a curry recipe. Try adding a little cinnamon to a pancake batter. That sounds really good. Try adding a little cinnamon to your morning smoothie. How about sprinkling some cooked sweet potatoes with cinnamon and drizzle just a little bit of honey on there and that would make them delicious. And you can also try roasted butternut squash with a little sprinkle of cinnamon on there. And of course, add a little cinnamon to your morning oatmeal and that would just make it just warm and fuzzy. You could also make a sweet potato smoothie by blending together some cooked sweet potato, banana or maybe some other fruit, some uh, almond milk or something like that, a little plant milk that you might like, and a little cinnamon along the way. Sounds good. Add a little cinnamon to your life when you can. There's value in it. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Bye for now.